What do your customers really think of you? Over the last few decades, there have been a number of surveys that show that customers leave businesses for one common reason. You know, it's not because of product, it's not because of price, it's not even because of a relationship they have with a key person in your business. What the surveys show consistently is around about 7 out of 10 customers choose to leave their current provider because of what you might call perceived indifference. So what does that actually mean? Well, what it means is they believe nobody really cares about them. That's what it comes down to. And so a really great way to address that and to get some good feedback from your clients as well is to run what's known as a customer advisory board. So what's a customer advisory board? Well, essentially what you do is you invite 15 to 20 of your best customers to a meeting. And it's, uh, say, a 90-minute meeting around the table. And uh, usually 10 to 12 of those people will turn up. And the best way to do this is to appoint an independent facilitator to ask the customers some questions. Find out what they like about your business. What don't they like? What are the frustrations? What would they like to see you do differently? And if they were your CEO, what's the first thing they'd do to improve your business? Once you do that, you review the findings and you'll give feedback to the people who come along and importantly, you'll implement a small number of their suggestions to make a difference to the experience that they have with your business. I really suggest you think about running a customer advisory board to improve not only your customer retention, but lift your customer service levels.